All right, guys. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I was just running. Um, praise God. Joseph got the combine going. Greased up. Everything switched over. We're ready to combine beans. Um, we have not tried to combine anything yet. A lot of guys are already halfway done with their bean field, so we're ready. It's Saturday, it was supposed to rain today. It might still this evening, not sure, but so it's just really been biting up a bit. Ready to go, so I'm glad he's out there. And we'll see. All right, guys, I'm walking out to our bean field. Um, I don't think I told you this, but we got a new straight truck right there. Um, so the one we had before was a C60. This, I think, is a C70. It actually has, like, steel, a steel box. The other one was wood box. And we're, we're trying to sell the other one, but it's harvest, so that'll come. So pretty excited about this new one. Um, probably holds another 100 or 200 bushel. And Joseph, I've been looking for one for a long time. So thank you, Jesus, for providing. Looks like he's done maybe like kind of one pass. I got snacks and goodies for him, so I'm not sure if they'll stop or not. But Looks like it's working for the most part. Oh, yep, it is stopping pretty dusty. But that's probably what we want. We had a whole bunch of maintenance on our combine this year just to kind of keep it updated and healthy, if you want to say that. Um, so shout out to our mechanic guy that has been really walking alongside Joseph and helping him with that. But we're hoping that that helps this harvest go even smoother. So. Alright, so I don't see much, I don't really see any beans on the ground, so that's a good sign. You always want to look. How's it going up there? like an hour into it. <laughs> Checking. How did? What is this adjust again? What? What are those level levers adjust? So this is the chaffer and the sieve down here. The chaffer and the sieve. Okay. So this is basically how green the, the sieve on the bottom is going to be how clean your grain sample is in the tank. Okay. So there's a lever in there. He's. I don't know if you heard him. That the sieve is basically how clean your grain is when it gets into the hopper up there. I still got a few, just a few, it's not a full off, it's enough to irritate me. But I've got a few unopened pods and they're dry. Hmm. So I think we'll close the sieve down a little bit, hopefully they'll come through. So then this, there's a cross auger back there that comes into this, this is called the tailings elevator. The tailings elevator. And this is basically a paddle and chain. Paddle and chain. Okay. And it will take stuff back up to the front of the machine huh. and drop it back in on the cylinder. I didn't know that. To get re So okay. I'm going to so close that sieve one notch and hopefully those pods are going. They won't fall through the sieve. They'll go to the back, go through that elevator up and get thrashed again. Okay. So it basically cuts them open twice. Well, yeah, or it should. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, there's still, I'm still seeing a few things. It's way better though in previ than yeah, it has been. been. Like when we took that all apart, we took the chaffer and the sieve out, there's it's like mud flap material on the side. It's supposed to cover up some holes. Well it's it's worn out and it's too short. Um, and then it gets out because that's in there like well, it's like oscillating because it's moving your trash through, blowing air through it. So did you replace that part that was no, too short? It's no. Like, it's like permanently um, like, I don't know what all we'd have to change. Like, it's like stapled to it, so. Huh. We couldn't come up with a good way to fix it, so we're just like, well, we're gonna have some loss. Yeah. It's gonna be there. Okay. Of, uh, well, cool. So, there's some of this I can't do much about. You're not gonna get 100% of it. They're doing really good. They're what? Like 9, 10%, sometimes 11. What do you want? And, yeah, right here. Yeah. What's the yields looking like? I don't know, anywhere from 50 to 70. Is that good? Yeah, that's really good. That's really good? Really good. What's well, normal for our farm? In the 40s. And this is dry land, yeah, so yeah. we've had quite a bit of rain this year, right? Cool, that's yeah. awesome. We'll see, I don't know. That's we'll good. see, this is usually right here when I'm opening stuff up, it usually is pretty good. Okay. So as I look across the field, I'm sure it won't stay like that. Okay. It usually drops off through the west I go. Cool. So, Great job. still doing that right here. So yeah, that's awesome. Every little bit counts. along the long way kind of along our neighbor and our hour's fence it's been probably two hours um something else i didn't tell you guys just put a buddy seat in the combine so it's way easier to sit in there now so fun as your kids get older seeing them actually want to ride in the common and the tractor longer it's fun it seems like they actually like to do it for anyone who's new here we have a six row um well six row planner so I'm not too sure how long that makes our bean head or our corn head, but
all of that dust. probably between three and four hundred I want to say bushels like for our straight truck um, I think this one might hold closer to 700 I'll have to check with Joseph but I think that's right so it's more than just an extra hundred or two hundred bushel it's probably double maybe Joseph sent me a video that um, kind of in one spot it was in the 80s for yielding which is crazy because like he said earlier you know 40 is normal so I know that won't be the whole field probably but rain is just so important praise God for the rain this year but I think too you know when you're in a drought droughts teach you a lot about your operation as well like what you need to do different and how to improve your soil health so that you know your crops utilize the water that you do get in a drought season better so you're not solely relying on the water to grow your plants we shouldn't be solely relying on that anyways it should be a whole bunch of other things as well so cool looks good like for our straight truck um, I think this one might hold closer to 700 I'll have to check with Joseph but I think that's right so it's more than just an extra 100 or 200 bushel it's probably double maybe Joseph sent me a video that um, kind of in one spot it was in the 80s for yielding which is crazy because like he said earlier you know 40 is normal so I know that won't be the whole field probably but rain is just so important praise God for the rain this year but I think too you know when you're in a drought droughts teach you a lot about your operation as well like what you need to do different and how to improve your soil health so that you know your crops utilize the water that you do get in a drought season better. So you're not solely relying on the water to grow your plants. We shouldn't be solely relying on that anyways. It should be a whole bunch of other things as well. 